Hey, what's up my fellow reefers? This is Fragbox TV and today I want to talk to you about refugium lights. Okay, so running a refugium on your reef tank. It can be a great way of nutrient export, reducing nitrates, reducing phosphates. We carry a number of different macro algae here. So this is some halimeda, and there's some grape color, but it's a little bit dirty in this system. Some shaving brush, we have mermaid's fan, dragon's breath, chato, and mangroves. And then there's some other weird offshoot ones we get sometimes, but those are some of the most popular ones. Sorry, really dirty in our, in our refugium. Here on the Red Sea Reefer 170, running Dragon's Breath. Under my personal favorite light for growing any sort of macroalgae is this Kessel. This is the smaller one, the Kessel H80. But it's a very powerful, compact, small, awesome little refugium light. And if you're looking for something to help grow macroalgae, this brand, uh, it's Kessel. They've done a really, really awesome job. It's really simple to use. So with this you can adjust the spectrum. So the red is supposed to um, get macroalgae to grow, I guess, faster. And then this is over on the blue spectrum. We leave it almost all the way to the red. And then you control the intensity with here. I recommend just leaving it turned up all the way. And then they sell this gooseneck, which is really easy to set up and use. It's very handy. It's sold separately, but it lights up the bottom of our Red Sea Reef here really nicely. And it looks kind of cool actually when it's on it gives it this kind of weird red glow coming out the bottom so these are probably the two most popular models there is a much larger one but that's the smaller one i was just showing you the h80 really really popular light really like this one and then i'll show you the larger one we're using as well the h160 and then they even make a h360 so this is their big boy very powerful led light this comes in an h series light um, for growing macroalgae so h is that's how they designate between your coral light and then your macro algae growing light. Just need to turn it on on the handy Apex here. If you don't have an Apex controller, this thing is awesome. And I'm gonna do a video one day, I promise. But when I do a video on the Apex, it's gonna be way more prepared than our typical grab a camera and start shooting, but just turning on the light here. So this is our one of our grow out systems here in the store. We're using the Kessel H160. This thing is a serious, serious macro algae growing light tons of tons of power so i added this ball of chato we usually clear it out i want to say every two three weeks it starts off maybe the size of a let's say an apple and it's just completely uh, i don't know if you can see here it's thick it's healthy it's growing like mad this is part of the reason why i can feed so heavy in this grow out system it's um go back and watch the other video it's called the secret to keeping zoas but the zoas are super, super happy. It's the um, nutrient rich water. The nitrates and phosphates are a little bit higher than you would normally keep in a reef tank. But this Kessel Light is doing an awesome job of growing the chato down here and it's just constantly full. So those Kessel Lights are awesome if you have a sump, um, but if you have a smaller tank, they may not necessarily work like an all-in-one tank, a Fluval Evo, something like that. This is another one from Innovative Marine. It's really small compact powerful and designed to grow as you guessed it chato look at the name even in the name chato max this is by far yeah this is our most pop, uh, popular refugium growing light by far we sell a ton of these especially this little one nine watt one here because it's just so easy to stick on the back of your tank and you can start growing chato and if you decide that's how you want to export nutrients in a tank a refugium can be a great and helpful way of doing that we don't run one here on our larger coral beds um, we have other ways of reducing nitrates and phosphates but really really popular way of doing it is running a refugium with chato i highly recommend this light and if you have a sump i think these ones are maybe not strong enough then go with the kessels but that's it for today's video if you guys got any questions about growing macroalgae chato anything reef tank related at all hit us up i'll leave our contact info at the end of the video thank you very much for watching and this is fragbox tv Ta you thought the video was over. This is like the Marvel movies when you gotta watch after the credits to see what's gonna happen in the next video. I'm gonna wanna give one of these away. So how are you gonna win? You gotta be subscribed and you need to comment below. Describe in the comments your refugium setup, what you're running on your tank. That way maybe other reefers can read it and get ideas on how to set theirs up. 
you're gonna pick somebody that's here in Canada or local you can come pick it up or we'll ship it to you for uh, for free in the mail thanks for watching guys and happy reefing this is Fragbox 2